Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. The first question I've got for you, okay? The game's finished. You've won 2 1. I need to know more about the celebrations. Night, I need to know what out. really went down. Details. Do not miss anything out. It went off, to be fair. <laughs> yeah? Straight away in the changes, the bevies were out. <laughs> Abba was on, singing, dancing. Rat, trophy was in the middle of the changing room and we were just dancing around it. It was sick. And then continued to the bus, bangers on, on the way back to the hotel, and all our family and friends were in there. And as we like walked in, all the press were outside. On, so we all got off the bus, like bevies and medals and everything. Have you had a few at this point already? Yeah, yeah. so yeah, you're feeling a, a bit loose there. and good to yeah, go, yeah. yeah. We have. We were celebrating properly. Drink of choice? Uh, I like a strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> that's not you ain't that, that's not in the but changing yeah, room there was only Heineken in there so I had to swap like beer <laughs> so, so, so I need to know later on though I'm talking like where are we going you're going back to the hotel are you getting changed you're going out somewhere no we're not getting changed we've got buckets at, bucket hats on yeah. trackies medal and they set up like a big dance floor DJ where at at the Lensbury Hotel that yeah, we stayed in yeah. so all our family and friends are in there free bar oh. and then it was just that until early hours what we're we talking three four yeah i think so three four yeah. and then was it the next morning you've got to go and do like was it the trafalgar square um like parade thing wasn't yeah, it yeah that's got to be hard work oh it was heavy that like we had to get all everyone was running like in the corridor corridors everything was everywhere i think two of the girls were asleep on the corridor <laughs> um <laughs> i love it and then we all went into this meeting with serena and like everyone was just a, a mess sunglasses on like i still had my bucket hat on I must have slept in it. And, uh, and yeah, we had to go to um, the parade and it was absolutely boiling. It was hot, I remember. Yeah, it, it was. Actually, yeah. We, were in, um, we were in London. We were doing a podcast episode the day that you were doing it. Yeah. Because we, we nearly dipped out and went yeah, to it, didn't we, we? We were at the final. We were there watching the final and then we had a podcast yeah, the next phenomenal. day. Um, and I just remember seeing, because it was Lucy Bronze, weren't it, with the, like, the ski yeah, glasses. Yeah. And then everybody had the ski glasses. <laughs> and then like she's getting sponsorship deals for the ski glasses. <laughs> and that's it. Everybody's wearing these ski glasses all yeah. of a sudden, aren't they? It was class. Um, what about, did you do like for the party, for the celebrations, was it night two, night three, night four, or was it like holiday? Because I know a lot of the girls went on holiday yeah, together. Yeah. So obviously it was night one, which we were all together and it was just an oh, unbelievable night. Um, and then I think the girls went out in London, but a few of us went straight home because we had holidays booked. So I went straight home. I needed to get my lashes done, nails done, you know, all that. And then flew to Ibiza. Uh -huh. Did you? What, a ch chill holiday or? It was a bit, it was like a bit of both, like... That's not one. a chill holiday. She's best 23 one. years old. She ain't going to Ibiza and having a chill See, holiday. It was a bit of both, to be fair. Um, there were that, nights we didn't chill. What, what is this like for you then from this point on? So you're, you've gone from being sort of a fairly well-known footballer, do you know what I mean? You're playing for Man United, you're playing for England, all that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden you've won a major tournament for your country, right? You're going away on holiday, just even when you get back. What's it like? What's the reception like? The people just recognising you all over yeah. the place. It's mad. It's so different. Like the first day, so I came back that morning, I went to get my nails done and my lashes done before my flight. I was starving, so I went Green Alches, got a pasty. Went to where? Green Alches. It's in Tilsa. You've not heard of it? <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Sells like meat and potato pasties and that. <laughs> Love it. And uh, day after, I'm in the papers eating a pasty. I look like I've been to jail. What, like Paps getting you? Paps. I didn't even Did see Did you any. know they were there? No. And I'm like that outside eating a pasty. This is naughty, this, isn't it? Like nine in the morning or I something. Was, and I was like, oh my God, that's, that's just mental. And then when, when I went to the airport, like... It was mad. Everyone kept coming over f for pictures and stuff. And I thought, why is everyone like coming over? Because this doesn't usually happen. And yeah, then I yeah. thought, we've, we've done something big here. Like we've won the Euros, like the game's changed. And then obviously got papped in Ibiza as well, which was just... Do When you went to Ibiza though, did you, because of the airport and because of the pasty shop, did you kind of think to yourself, I need to like watch this in Ibiza? Do you like people might be here or... I think I was a bit naive at first, like... I went with my boyfriend, it was our first holiday together. Um, and people were like giving us free things. So I was just like, well, I've never been offered free thing before. So that. I'm taking it. Yeah. Yeah. But then every morning we'd wake up and someone would send us an, a new picture of us in the paper. 
your manager at home and Serena texting going come on just calm it down yeah, a little yeah. bit yeah just keep it on the down low a little bit yeah. you have, have you ever got to the point where you've had to get a like disguise or anything like that a hat or anything like that not a disguise no but when I got back from IB for I had a massive party like with all my family all my friends like the whole of Tilsley basically Tilsley. and we had to put security on <laughs> the, the Tilsley door Tilsley massive come on you had yeah. to put security on Shut the door up. we had to put security on the door because like it, it was just getting a bit like bit mad are yeah. you Tilsley's fa most famous export at the minute then yeah yeah not much has come from Tilsley to be fair <laughs> but yeah I'm painted on the pub and everything now oh, I love that yeah, that's nice sick. yeah so just it, sorry quickly I was just gonna say is this a genuine thing though for you now have you can you see like there's a real difference like a real shift of since winning that things have changed now yeah I can see a massive shift like from where we were to where we are now and obviously it's very different for us and we've just got a get used to it I suppose because we obviously want the game to grow and yeah, that's yeah. part and parcel of it so I need to make sure I brush my hair every day just in case you got to be on point <laughs> yeah. what is what was that meeting with Serena Beegman about what was that about what can she possibly say to you in that in team morning? meeting yeah in that morning I can't remember. the day that you're all struggling this is what I'm talking about she knows that you're all going to be dying of death she knows that you've got a big old sort of like parade to come surely she's buzzing she's had a few drinks oh yeah before. She's was it just a case of girls i'm so proud of you absolutely buzzing well done uh, yeah to be fair i can't remember it i just remember being in the room and thinking oh my god like we've won the euros and it. oh my god i'm dead i haven't slept <laughs> um but yeah i think it would have been like i'm proud of you you set out what you wanted to do and, and you went on and achieved it and just enjoy it yeah i love that um when when I was listening to, doing a bit of research, obviously, and w listening to a podcast with you on before the Euros, and someone said to you, proudest moment in your career, and you were like, making my England debut, and you said, like, I don't think that I'll ever top that. Now, <laughs> fast forward a bit. What was it, like, the the, the fee? 61st minute, I think. 61st, 61st minute. minute. Oh. So when that ball drops down to you, and you poke it in. You shank it in off your own. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just boot it in. <laughs> Is it just, what's going on? Is it just chaos in your oh, head what's going on it was mental like when it left my foot it felt like forever to go in the net yeah, really yeah. it felt like it, it just took ages to go in and everyone was just paused but i started celebrating before it had gone in because i you must know. have been confident yeah, yeah. i know must have known in. that as soon as it hit my foot it was going in so i started running off a bit and then it all like erupted and everyone just went mental and i thought wow i've just scored it Wembley in a Euro final against Germany and I, I just chipped her. I don't think you'll beat that atmosphere. I really don't no. think you'll beat oh, it. Because we, we, we went to the game, right? Like I said, we were there. And when that goal went in, right, other than the probably the full-time whistle or the to make it 2-1, that atmosphere at that moment in time, like if you could bottle that little bit and sort of like inject it sometimes, it would be incredible. Because oh. it was like, I, we, we haven't been at a, a football match with an atmosphere like no, that before. It was, it There's was, no drama, no trouble, no, no, no hint of like anything. It was just pure good vibes yeah. all around the place, weren't it? Was, it? it was yeah. incredible. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.